Good afternoon. Today we're going to be working on converting percentages to decimals. And we're going to do that by hand and using our TI-84 calculators. So let's go ahead and look at question number one. Question number one says convert this percentage to a decimal, 24%. Now if we think about the word percent, right? Cent means 100. When we say 24%, we're saying 24 out of 100. If we wrote it as a fraction, it would look like this, 24 out of 100, 24 over 100. Now, if we think back to when we were learning fractions, we know that that means 24 divided by 100, right? So to convert 24% to 20, to decimal, we just do 24 divided by 100. We could do long division, do all that stuff, but it's a lot easier to just realize 24 divided by 100 just means you move the decimal place two spots to the left. So let's do that. We've got 24% now, percent is, 24 is a whole number, so the decimal is right there, right? Dividing by 100 just means moving the decimal place two spots to the left. So we move it one, two, and that's our new decimal spot, right? So you end up with, when we drop the percentage sign, 0 0.24, or 24 hundredths. Now, let's double check that, right? Let's grab our calculator, and we're going to double check it. So we've got 24%, and we're going to divide by 100. We hit enter and we get 0 0.24 or 24 hundredths, so that's correct. That's how you convert from a percentage to a decimal. Let's go ahead and erase this and try question number two. Question number two says convert this percentage to a decimal 5.3%. So it's the same thing, right? We're going to write down 5.3%. And we're going to move that decimal two spots to the left, right? Now something a little bit different happened in here, right? We had to we made an extra jump where there wasn't where there wasn't a number, so we're going to substitute fill in that in with a zero. So that turns into zero point zero five three or fifty three thousandths, right? Let's grab again. Let's grab our calculator and double check it. So we've got five point three percent. We said percent, you're dividing by 100, and we get 53,000, 0.053. That's correct. So that works. Now let's go ahead and go in the opposite direction for the, this next question, right? So far, we've been converting from percentage to decimal. Now we're going to convert from a decimal to a percent. We're going in the opposite direction, right? And so you've got 65 hundredths is the first number you're given, 0.65. 65 hundredths, right? Now, when we were going from percentage to decimal, we moved to the left. Well, now we're going from decimal to percent. So we're going to move to the right this time, right? So let's move it two spots to the right. One, two. And you get the number 65. Now we add our percentage sign in and you get 65%, right? Let's double check that. Pull up our calculator. 65 hundredths. Divided, we divided by 100 to go from percentage to decimal. To, so we're going to do the opposite when we're going in the opposite direction, right? We're going to multiply by 100. We end up with 65, which is 65%. That's correct. Let's erase this and go on to our last question. All right, convert this decimal to percentage, right? So decimal to percentage means, again, we are moving to the right. Let's go ahead and write this down, 2 and 76 hundredths. Now we're going to move this decimal two places to the right, 1, 2. There's our new decimal location, so we're left with 276%. It's a big number, right? But that makes sense. It's 2 and 76 hundredths. Let's go ahead and multiply that out just to double check. We've got 2.76. We multiply by 100 and we get 276%. So that's correct, right? So again, if you're going from percentage to decimal, you move two spots to the left, decimal to percent, two spots to the right.